This evening's Mass is the proper Mass of Our Lady of La Salette, and uh, there's a commemoration of St. Januarius and Companions. It's interesting to note that when Our Lady of La Salette appeared to the children, that she was weeping and is known as the Weeping Virgin. That gives us some food for thought. Our Lady, we can picture her standing at the cross, tears again flowing from her eyes, and yet she had no one there to console her. Certainly not the priests. They were the ones who wanted to crucify him. Certainly not the blaspheming thief, nor anyone else around the cross. And even the one to whom she looked for such consolation, her own divine son, could not provide her with that because she suffered exactly what he suffered, only she suffered it spiritually. A friend, I got to thinking, is such a good thing to have one of the greatest graces that one can have. There are many of them out there who, people out there who have no true friend who consoles one when they are weeping, let's say, like the weeping virgin today. Their friends just sort of ignore the problem or don't even see it. Well, today's saint, Saint Januarius, is an excellent example of a very good friend. When his friends were found during the, one of the great persecutions in Rome, when they were imprisoned for the faith, he didn't just leave them there alone. Well, certainly in some sense, anyone would be justified for not visiting them because to go and visit the, someone who's imprisoned, you risked being imprisoned yourself. But Januarius, he risked it all for the sake of consoling his friends and seeing that they kept the faith even if it meant shedding their blood for it. So he would visit them, and each day that he went, he would encourage them, keep the faith, even if it means shedding your blood, for soon you shall see God. That's a friend. He ended up being imprisoned with his friends, and of course going and dying for the faith. But I think we today is a good day to think about true human friendship on the one hand, but on the other, the divine friendship. Who is there left today that is a true friend of God or Our Lady? Who, for example, will wipe the tears from Our Lady's eyes for all the sins of those who crucify her son in their heart? Who is there to help our Lord to carry his cross up Mount Calvary? So few today because the faith is so much lessened, so, ma so m many few people, that is, have the true faith. And among true Catholics, there are so very few who are true and loyal friends to our blessed Lord. How can you help to console Our Lady and Our Lord? Well, it's easy. Our Lord tells us in the Gospel, as long as you did it to one of these, you have done it to me. When you visit a sick person, you're visiting our Lord. When you instruct the ignorant, you're paying attention to our Lord, and so on and so forth. Every good deed that is done for another, as long as it is done also in the state of grace and for the love of Christ, you are doing it for him, and you are wiping away his tears, and raising your own place in heaven for all eternity. So let's, for a moment, put aside all of our own sorrows and focus on our Lord's and our Lady's. And think of that sorrowful mother at the top of that beautiful mountain at La Salette. There she is weeping. Can you wipe her tears today? May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, amen.